Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays. Uh, still a very, very tired person. I uh, don't think that will ever change, but hey, we got Sakura now. Sakura is going to be the new peppy one on my videos, at least for a little bit, until I can kind of recover. But uh, look how peppy she is. She is just so happy to be here and I'm happy to have her here too because she is just pretty strong. And I'm uh, first of all, I just want to make note of this a well because yeah cool got sakura but secondly um new animations i'm pretty sure no other character has those animations and i'm really happy to see that because i'd like a few more animations on the opening on the screen too make it happen anyway uh getting into it we have the uh, jp news for the month so we're going to start with uh the big, big news what i think which is a brand new event to do with the rundle nation for some reason i just I think it's for Vandal because that's just a name I know. Anyway, Rundle Nation, uh, which is, of course, Lucia's nation. Lucia will be part of this side story as well. As you can see, we have a couple of new characters. Two, the two characters here on the left, light blue haired girl and dude, which will get names in a minute. Don't worry. But um, both of these two new characters will be our beginning of the month banner as well as I'm probably going to guess that we are going to see this um, probably lower tier character as the second half of the month, along with some other character, potentially Brave Exvius character, potentially a another Halloween character. Don't know, but uh, at this point, this will be the side story for the month. And taking a look at it, we are also going to see a brand new weapon type. Yeah, given a bit of a hint ahead of time. So Kagaru. Um, we are seeing a brand new fist. Uh, this will be the trial to go along the side story. So great news for that. And uh, now let's just get right into the characters, shall we? And we are going to talk about two new characters, a light based mage character of a MR slash SSR rarity and a UR rarity fire character who is not limited. Hallelujah. Cool. Awesome. About time we were getting away from fire limiteds. So let's get right into probably the most exciting thing. And this character is... I think it's going to be trans out to Larudo. Larudo? I'm going to say Larudo. And I'm sure that uh, the people in the comments who always correct it will continue to correct it. But uh, that's the name I'm going with for now. Anyway, looking at Larudo, uh, he is the first of a brand new type of job in the game, Fighter. Fighter, which is going to be great news because it's about time for the strike new or for strike characters to finally make their way into the game. A couple things about this that I think are pretty monumental about this character. First of all, a brand new class of a missing damage type in the game is probably going to be noteworthy for a lot of reasons. First of all, Fire is a greatly underrepresented uh, element, except in limiteds, of course, which can no longer be gotten. Secondly, uh, fists have kind of been on this on the cusp of being a really interesting place, in the fact that um, you know there isn't really a ton of resistance against strike as a damage type. So this character could just be really insanely good. Last thing, I think that this character is a little bit scary because uh, if there is a brand new tower, if there is a brand new raid, it's going to be strike type damage as the primary, and um, that's just going to make it very difficult for, I think, a lot of different players. So uh, this might be a really an important character, but let's get into the details about him first. All right, so primary job is fighter, secondary job is paladin. Tertiary job is Thief. So this is really interesting because Fighter class seems like it's going to be a fair amount of damage. His limit burst is also very interesting in this respect because the more damage he takes, the stronger his limit burst is. This could be really good for PvP if there is a chance that he just has, uh, if you can just put bells on him, because of course every character with bells, um, could just have enough AP, a whole bunch of enemies attack him, and then he strikes. It also looks to be single target, so this guy could just be 
really absolutely solid in taking care of a single target, especially a tank, and we'll get more into that later. And what I think is also really works well for this limit burst is the fact that um, Paladins have a ton of HP. Paladins also potentially have guts too, so um, while there is Sakura to potentially counter that and counter this character, I do think that it is, you're, you're not always going to be up against Sakura. Not everybody has Sakura. So I think that um, the idea that this character could have Guts take fatal damage and strike back with his Limit Burst basically being possibly a character that could br greatly break the damage cap depending on the modifiers on it. It is very interesting to say the least. And Thief will just give him some speed. It also may potentially give him time steal as well. Not always useful, but if it's on a powerful character, that could just be a net benefit overall. Uh, looking at his other abilities, he does have a great buff in a plus style pattern. That's his uh, third ability right there, which is pretty interesting because like, it works for other characters too, so characters who don't have defense penetration, uh, he can now give defense penetration to other characters. Uh, not entirely sure how much value. Gonna have to wait and see what the, um, it says on motive calculation, but yeah, that's really, really interesting. Oh, wait, sorry, hold on. Let me just double check. Okay, so slight mistake. Uh, I misread down. Um, this was the one I was looking at. Uh, let me just point at it correctly. This one. This is the one where the more damage you take, the more uh, damage you deal. Uh, his limit burst is actually large damage that also removes single attack resistance. So again, depends on how much for both of these, but uh, they're pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Light whoops right there. Now looking at his master ability, his master ability is going to up the HP of fire units. I don't think this is super important because there aren't a ton of fire units yet, but put a pin in it. Fire attack up by 15 and his own defense penetration by 20. So this guy is potentially a tank killer. He could be a really interesting tank killer if he has guts and uh, he can get up close with uh, Thief speed. Hopefully he'll also get a Thief passive to increase movement as well. Then it'll just be really good. All right, continuing on, uh, we get to our secondary character who is Elshura. Uh, probably that's going to be close enough uh, again, correct me if you want. Anyway, main job is Time Mage. Secondary job is Rune Knight. Third job, or tertiary job, if you prefer, is White Mage. Ooh, gonna really depend what skills she gets in White Mage and Rune Knight, depending on whether I want to run either of them. Um, but uh, Rune Knight is particularly damn strong. We found that out with Howlet. And uh, as for White Mage, uh, potentially having a healer with a with speed abilities just might be a good little support unit. Uh, we'll call it an Inverse Ayaka, since uh, Ayaka is primarily a White Mage with some Time Mage abilities, and here we have a Time Mage with some White Mage abilities. Wouldn't mind seeing a new Time Mage ability, so let's go with that. All right, but continuing on, uh, what she the only ability that is. Um, mentioned here is basically quicken which a ton of characters have so not holding out a ton of hope that this is going to be the most interesting character ever but you never know could be uh design is interesting uh hp upper limit on the master ability for light attribute units plus another 10 percent so i'm curious if this stacks 100 percent or if it's like some of the other stat stacking in the game where it's only a percentage of it but i do would like to get this character Get her master ability and try and put it on a team with Sakura to see exactly how that works. Uh, light attribute attack up by 10, ohm magic power plus 20, and hit rate plus 15. So an interesting little unit here that has a uh, you know a slightly higher accuracy and uh, can also support the team. Um, might be just a great little quick, uh, little, just quicker mage. Okay, all right. And now it would not be anything because if we i'm sorry it would not be um it would be too easy if it was just two characters right well yeah you're right 
Yeah, you are right. So, here she is, Little Leela, in her Halloween version. Uh, this character uh, will be a limited time character, and surprise, surprise, she ended up being a wind elemental. Huh, interesting. So, taking a look at the character really quickly, uh, primary job is calculator or arithmetician, secondary job is white mage, and tertiary job is ninja. Now, I think this unit has incredible potential, and of course, a limited with incredible potential. Go on, Umbra. All right, Limit Burst is really just uh, the most scary thing about this unit. For people who were commenting about the fact that, uh, oh, you know, Leela is a little more cute than anything, that's okay. Her Limit Burst is terrifying because basically, what if Adira had just one of the strongest limit bursts in the game? Adira is already one of the best farmers in the game. And she doesn't even have the ninja um, sub job. So yeah, cool. Let's also give her a powerful limit burst too. And the ninja class. All right. So the, why I think this limit burst is terrifying is the fact that it is a large damage ability that also comes with dispel on it too. In other words, it dispels first and then it hits the enemy for a large amount of damage. This is scary because every tank, uh, every character that literally goes first will always be and will always end up just using buffs, uh, using buffs like uh, defense uh, up, attack up, or you know hate generation up. And this character just comes along and just dispels it with her limit burst. So yeah, this character is looking incredibly powerful already. I mean, this is just a really, 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 really strong limit burst on uh, Little Leela. And my god, if... Uh, and oh yeah, it also powers itself up if the unit is level 3. So 99s in Arena and Guild War be damned. You guys are going to get straight murdered. All right, and uh, continuing on, uh, this is the her secondary ability that is advertised is kind of just the standard uh, calculator wide hit AOE elemental spell, which at this point I don't need to tell you, it's already really good. Um, yeah, and uh, looking at the character, uh, she will also be the buying character, which is what I'm going to call this, where spending lapis will end up getting extra of her shards. All right, so let me get right down to brass tacks about both of these banners. First of all, I think both of these banners have come, uh, tremendous odds of being incredibly impactful to, to the game for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, taking a look at just this banner right here, while the white, so, uh, while the uh, lower tier character here isn't particularly anything interesting. I really want to see what the full time mage kit looks like before I make too many judgments. But when it comes to uh, Lurado, I think that this character has a massive potential. For one thing, he's not a limited time fire character. Secondly, he is boasting one of the uh, type damage types out there that has not been kind of compensated for at this point, and he already has defense penetration, and he can support, and he looks like he is just very well built with thief speed, paladin HP, and a brand new type of job that is looks to be very physical based and very strong. So I do think Lorado has a lot going for him. With that being said, Halloween Leela is actually the definition of scary. A limit burst, while not being AOE, has an incredibly powerful effect of large single target damage that just dispels everything that was on that unit to begin with. In other words, bye bye hate, bye bye buffs, bye bye all of that stuff, bye bye man. Um, and that we have, we haven't even seen some of the other stuff, but the fact that her limit burst also scales to level three means that she is permanently just going to be pretty darn powerful against level 99 characters. I'd even be interested to see her performance against ice characters too, but again, we have not seen her white mage abilities yet because, um, it will really depend what her kit has for that. 
and what ninja passive she gets. But uh, taking a look at her master ability, HP up for wind attribute units. So partners very well with Ayaka, partners incredibly well with Howlet, as Howlet likes sacrificing his HP. So the more HP he has, the better he will be. But also, not only that, but wind attribute attack up of 15 and own evasion rate plus 10. She is a dodgy, strikey, powerful character with calculator slash arithmetician abilities. I think this character will be meta-defining. I really do. I think that there is way too much going on here to be completely ignored. And yeah, that's enough. that's all I got to say. I think that this character is going to be in sane. So now let's talk about a few other pieces of news. Um, first of all, Sheba's quest will be added to the key quest side on the JP, which is basically using a key to unlock these quests for a certain up for about three days so you can farm it. Uh, if you're really interested in that, go for it. Secondary uh, is the fact that the Soul Metal Exchange Shop will now be featuring the replacement for Rainbow Rocks. That's where you get those from. So don't know the cost yet, don't know anything other details, but uh, basically the things for lower tier than you are characters that replace with Rainbow Rocks, those will be available through Soul Metal Shards. AI abilities. Uh, one quick note is the fact that White Mage subjobs will have their AI changed so that they prioritize more trying to heal uh, when it is necessary. So that is good news because I think that's been a, that needs to be improved. And looking at the job or at the um, monthly reward for login, looks like Lorado will be getting the monthly shards. Again, I don't think that's as good. I would rather see the Halloween character because Lorado is a permanent unit, so there's always going to be a chance to get him in the future. But I'm really not going to look a gift horse in the mouse, okay? A, a gift horse in. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't matter, it's staying in, it's staying in. New month of book schedule, and last but not least, for the month of October, we are gonna be getting a Halloween-themed stage that looks uh, quite uh, uh, terrain traversy. So probably ninjas as well as dragoons are gonna do pretty well here. Maybe gunners as well, uh, or should I say archers, but uh, either way. So yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for this. First of all, I love side stories. Side stories to me are a ton of fun. They are a great amount of little story about extra characters and some of the characters that we do already know. Second, I'm super excited to see Fiss uh, getting some love. All they really need is a good summon at this point because a brand new uh, fist weapon is going to go a long way to improving fist based characters and even farming this now will be potentially good for future fist characters such as potentially Yang or Tifa. But either way, I do like that Lorado is coming out of the gate looking incredibly powerful and giving fists finally something in this game. Last but not least, for everybody who is not scared about this unit's appearance, be very scared of her abilities. I think that this character will be very meta-defining and potentially almost a at least must try for. Uh, global units, be scared. Your Lapis is in danger. Ooh, spooky. I told you I don't have much energy for this. Sakura. No, no, no. Sakura, do the, do the, do the jump thing. I think she understands. Let's see. Units paying off in dividends. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Tell me, are you excited for these characters? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Try and keep it civil, but uh, that's all for now. Take care. See you next time.